And welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending February 1st, 2014. Ever wondered what Studio Ghibli would, um, what it would look like to see a Studio Ghibli TV series? Well, wonder no more. Goro Miyazaki will be directing an anime TV series this fall called Ronia the Robber's Daughter. This is based on a book by the same author who wrote uh, Pippi Longstocking, excuse me, and, um... That's a pretty cool thing. Um, the Polygon Pictures, who worked on Knights of Sidonia and Skycrawlers, will be providing some CG scenes, with Studio Ghibli providing the rest of the animation. So, more on that in the backstory. Meanwhile, uh, in other news, a new Fate Stay Night anime series will be airing on television this fall. Animated, animated by UFO Table, uh, directed by Takahiro Miura, who directed Fate Zero. Um, and uh, with others from the Fate Zero staff coming back for this. So that's pretty darn cool. Also, uh, Viz has announced uh, release dates for the Tiger and Bunny movie, The Rising, uh, for uh, airing in theaters in the U.S. So if you're in California, Colorado, Florida, Hawaii, Illinois, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Texas, Virginia, or Washington there will be airings in your state, at least. Check out AnimeNewsNetwork.com for the full list of that, uh, all airing in mid-March of this year. Crunchyroll has announced they've got the, 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 the rights to stream Robot Girls Z. This is the toy series. It is basically Mazinger, Giant Robot, Get a Robot series, um, Get a Robo series um, with cute girls instead of giant robots. Fun, ridiculous little series. Discotech has announced they have licensed the Lupin the Third Hemingway Papers special, as well as the DRS anime series, both to be released uh, in, uh, on DVD in May. Meanwhile, if you want to watch Katsuhiro Otomo's new short peace project, that's peace as in not war, um, and you're in the western half of the world, you're going to have to have a PlayStation 3 because it's going to be released on the PlayStation 3 in the West this spring, along with a 2D scrolling action game called Ronko Tsukigime's... Yeah, Ronko Tsukigime's Longest Day, um, which is kind of part of Short Piece. Okay, so, yeah. It's going to be on the PlayStation 3. Weird. Moving on to manga news. A comics festival in France called the Angoulême Comics Festival... Uh, had an exhibition about uh, comfort women, i.e. women who were used in, uh, in world, during World War II in Japan as basically prostitutes. Um, what's controversial about this is that they state as part of the exhibition that Japan has still not recognized the problem of comfort women. Um, arguable. Japan has certainly talked about it in the past. Uh, they claim that it, um, it wasn't as forced as a lot of people claim it was, um, but it's a somewhat misleading thing to say. Um, so it's, it's caused some controversy. But there were uh, ten different manhwa that talk about comfort women, these are Korean comics, um, in this exhibit, talking about it, which is uh, quite interesting. So uh, again, more on that in the backstory. Seven Seas has announced they're going to be releasing some Dance in the Vampire Bund doujinshi collections. Now, this is not just fan works. These are works by the original artist of Dance in the Vampire Bund that he released as doujinshi at comic -Hat. So basically little one-off stories that were not published as part of the, the main thing. And uh, Seven Seas is going to be releasing those 192 pages in total of these previously uncollected manga, uh, along with other bonus material. Uh, they'll be sh shipped in June of this year. So that's pretty darn cool. We call Dance in the Vampire Bund Secret Chronicles. So, an interesting uh, direction to take that they're actually going to be publishing um, stuff on... Uh, they're going to be publishing doujinshi over here, basically. Um, finally, uh, or um, in addition, Crunchyroll has announced some other manga licenses. They've got Ar Arpeggio of Blue Steel, and Yet the Town Moves and Spirit Circle added to the lineup. It'll be available on the website worldwide almost completely. Some countries not uh, available, but, but most of them. Um, and they'll be released on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Finally, 
Uh, Attack on Titan, the manga, is, has now reached 29 million volumes in circulation. Uh, that's across all the different uh, volumes of the release, so Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, all in total 29 million. Uh, the 12th volume sold 1.4 million alone. So um, that's doing pretty darn well. Quite quite amazing. Um, uh, Kodansha revealed at his New York Comic Con panel that uh, it sold half a million copies in English, which is pretty darn impressive. So certainly Attack on Titan moving along. So that's it for the news. Stay tuned for the backstory where I go into a bit more detail on that. That's it. Thanks for watching.